What are the keys for the Cumberland Pirates this year? Uh, I think the first key is obviously staying healthy. You know, we've got to be able to stay healthy. Um, we return a lot of kids, uh, a lot of experience back, so hopefully that shouldn't be an issue. Um, defense has to continue to play. They played really, really well last year. Offensively, we got to keep the ball moving, uh, limit mistakes. Uh, but I think the, the main thing is, is staying healthy. How do you feel Wyatt Brant's role at running back? Um, I think you don't do it with just one person. Um, we've got a lot of kids that had that got quite a few touches last year. Uh, one is is Iceton Seifert. I think we'll we'll kind of slide in there at that fullback spot and take some carries. Uh, Galen Martinez is another kid that can definitely carry the football for us. And uh, Logan Tilker is our quarterback, but he has uh, the ability to scramble and, uh, and run the ball as well as throw. Ready! Four, three, two, four, three, just go! How do you feel Wyatt Branch shoes at running back? I think we got a good uh, replacement to fill Wyatt Branch's shoes. We got Ice and from the backfield. We also got Galen Martinez. Galen's a lot, he has a lot of speed. Iceton's more powerful. I mean, he can just truck right through him. I think what it takes for me is just to get stronger and better and smarter every day at practice. Just keep going at it and keep working at it. What makes you, Galen, such a standout athlete? I think it's mainly my speed. It's always been my speed for however long I've played sports. Uh, it's great. Uh, the fall has been wonderful so far. Um, it's nice to, it was really nice to have the summer back too. I mean, the summer before, you know, they said you could practice, you couldn't have a ball. Um, and it was just constantly changing, you know, from week to week. This summer it was, it was kind of normal. You know, we had our weight room stuff. Uh, got a lot of skill time in with the kids too. So, so far everything and being back to normal is, uh, is great. And I just hopefully, I'm hopeful that it can, it can continue being normal. I think we got to focus a lot on our pass coverages, uh, up short passes up the middle. Uh, we got to be able to cover that. As far as uh, deep pass coverage, I think we're set. I have to feel uh, basically just keeping the team together and making sure we have backups just in case I can't be in there to make the plays. Ready? Four, three, two. Four, let's just go. Week one, you you uh, you take on Shelbyville. Some of the keys going into that game. Um, I think we have to come out ready to go. Um, Shelbyville's a, a very good team. They play in, I mean, one of the toughest conferences in the CIC. Um, so we've got to be ready to go from opening kickoff. Uh, we're anticipating a, a hard-fought game. They've got a lot of their skill kids back um, from last year. We saw them in seven on seven, and and they look pretty good. So we know we're going to have to bring our A game for that game. Uh, Ross I mean, he. Uh... He featured a little bit of everything. Um, I think we got, as far as receiving, we have Trevin McGee. We have Maddox McAravey. I think we got that covered. Uh, special teams, uh, punt return, we got Galen Martinez. Uh, I think he do a pretty good job at returning. For us, it's just to making the playoffs, and then hopefully after that, championship. I think our goal is just play pirate football. I mean, I think we have, as far as the whole team goes, we have the biggest heart out there. And that's what it takes to really win a football game. Our expectations this year are making undefeated season, hopefully, and making a deep run in playoffs. Uh, I feel like we're we're kind of we're pretty good on the front end. I'm not, I'm not trying to knock any teams, you know, on the back end, but we we feel like our most competitive games will be at the beginning. We started with Shelbyville, um, who, like I said, will be tough. Uh, week two is against Tuscola, who's who's always good, and then we've got to take on um, Arthur, who has probably the without a doubt the best athlete in the conference. Um, then we've got Arcola, um, who's always good, you know, tradition rich. And those last two games, Arthur and Arcola, were games that we, we did win last year, but but they were very close games. And then week five, we have Villa Grove, who um, on paper, you know, we beat them 34 to nothing, but that was a lot closer game than that. So I think our first five games, um, we are really going to be tested and we're kind of heavy there um, at, the, at the beginning of our schedule. Um, I think after last year, well, we were able to go 6-0. We were able to, to win the conference on a shortened season. Um, we're hopeful to, to repeat there. Um, as far as playoffs go, obviously, we want to go as far as we can. You know, we talk 
Um, I mean, your goal is always a state championship, I think, whenever you start out. So um, that's a goal. But we just like to maybe repeat as conference champions and, and just play to the best of our ability um, each week and, and just kind of see how far that will take us. All over, two. All over, just go. Nice. Good, good, Jared. Good, good.